In today's video, we are covering cruise ship slots. Can you win at them? How are they different? And why is it that so many people seem to walk away on the losing end whenever they gamble on cruise ships? I'll also be giving you the biggest tip strategy to walk off the boat a winner. Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot Channel where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when the next video comes out. This is one of the most common questions that I have gotten and that is what about cruise ship slots? There seems to be so many myths in particular about cruise ship slots, so I'm going to be going over a lot in today's video. We're going to bust some myths, talk about how cruise ship slot machines work, and then also I'll be giving you guys a strategy that you can use the next time that you go on a cruise. First, let's talk all about how cruise ship slot machines are actually regulated. Now, cruise ships in general are a giant web of regulations. There are so many different regulations involved because they touch so many different countries. Most regulations on cruise ships are going to fall under the control of the nation in which the individual ship is flagged out of. But there is a major detail with this, especially when it comes to the casinos that are on board cruise ships. I'll give you guys kind of a brief example. We're going to look at Carnival Cruise Lines. It's one of the most popular cruise lines based here in the United States. The company itself is based out of Florida, but most of their ships are flagged out of the nation of Panama, which means that Panama is going to have most of the regulatory control when it comes to that cruise ship. But here's the major part that has to deal with the onboard casinos. Many nations out there do not have their own gambling guidelines, and so in order to combat this, cruise companies have all agreed to follow the same gold standard. Cruise ships actually adapt and follow all of Nevada's gaming regulations through what is called the CLIA. The CLIA is the Cruise Line International Association. Here is a quote directly from the CLIA. The CLIA adopted a policy that any and all gambling devices that are installed on cruise ships have to meet regulatory standards of the Nevada Gaming Control Board, which includes the payback percentages, and internal software. So what does this exactly mean? Well, it means that anytime that you are gambling on a cruise ship, the laws, the regulations, and yes, those payback percentages are all going to be the exact same as if you were playing at a regular casino in Nevada. A common myth is that cruise ships will change or alter machines throughout the cruise, and this is not the case. They cannot change anything on the unit beyond what the unit itself is capable of directly from the manufacturer itself and how it was ordered under those regulations, but they also can't change it due to the CLIA rules. Cruise ships do not manipulate or alter the machines for different times of day or different parts of the cruise. This is 100% a myth. Also, here is a very important reminder if this is your first time tuning into one of the videos. The RTP or the payback percentage does not affect you, the player, in a single session. This is a long-term metric. In order for you to honestly feel a difference in a machine that is set at 98% and a machine that is set at 85%, you would have to sit there and play it for millions and millions of spins. So when you do go to pick a slot machine, or if you are looking into different ways and methods to better your odds and better your chances at a slot machine, do not focus on the payback percentage because unless you plan on sitting in that chair for years and years at a time straight without getting up and playing it for millions of spins, you're not going to notice a difference when it comes to payback percentage. So are the machines any different at all and what class are they? The short answer to this is no. The machines are absolutely no different than any other slot machine that you would play in Las Vegas. So why do they feel different? Cruise ships today do have somewhat of a pretty good selection of some of the newer games that are coming out out there, but this can also be a major drawback. People that cruise a lot oftentimes say that the cruise ship casino just feels tighter. It feels like they've tightened up all the machines. The reason why that a cruise ship casino might feel tighter is actually because of the machine selection and the relatively small floor. Here's why. When you only have a small floor space and you can only fit a very small number of slot machines on your casino floor, as a business, they're going to choose which machines are going to be the absolute most popular and what people are going to play a lot more of. Unfortunately, that means that many of those newer, popular, hotter titles out there that people just love to sit down and play for hours, 
those are mostly high volatile games. Thus, they're harder to hit on. This leaves players with less choices to choose from and not very many low volatile games to be able to extend a session or build up a bankroll. This can make the entire casino feel tight when in reality, it has nothing to do with the machine settings. It has everything to do with just the types of games that are available and the fact that you have limited choices. So what class are cruise ship slots considered? The short answer is, is that they don't have a designated class. However, they are RNG based standalone units, the exact same slot machines that you would find in Las Vegas. So on land, they would be considered class three. They do not run on any kind of a bingo system, lottery system, horse racing system, any kind of outside system. These are standalone RNG based units. So let's get into the real topic here, the strategy. Why is it that so many people seem to lose so much every time that they go on cruise ships. The truth is, is that this occurrence actually has nothing to do with the machines, how they're set, the odds, or the machines being any different. It has everything to do with how the casino industry as a whole operates at its core. Casinos rely on one thing to keep the money coming in, and that is to keep you in the chair and to keep you playing as long as possible. The longer you play slots, no matter where you are in the world, Every single time that you stay at a casino and you continue to play, the casino gains the advantage of time. Time is on their side, not yours. The casino industry is smart. They know that if they can keep you in the confines of the casino, you will not be able to help yourself and you will continue to play and you will continue to feed that machine, even if you've just won. No matter what your budget is, if you walk into a casino and you stay in that casino for long enough, you're going to walk away down. This is how the casino industry as a whole operates. You may win, but if they can get you to stay, they're gonna get their money back. Now, cruise ships are smart. You're trapped on a boat for five to seven days. You've got nowhere to go. As a gambler, this is going to be your biggest Achilles heel because you are now trapped on a boat with the casino. They know that and they also know that you have nowhere else to go and as a gambler, you cannot help yourself. You will absolutely keep feeding that machine. You are not losing because cruise ship slots are tight or different. You are losing because you will not get out of the casino. Cruises are in fact the absolute worst thing that a gambler can possibly do, but there is a solution. Here is the biggest strategy to gambling on cruise ships that's going to save you money lessen your losses, and hopefully if you win, actually be able to take that money with you off the boat. Set yourself a designated day of your cruise to play slots and then plan other things for other times during the cruise. Do not under any circumstances be tempted to go back into that casino. For example, if you're on a cruise from a Friday to a Tuesday, tell yourself, okay, I'm only gonna gamble on Sunday. Let's plan some shore excursions, some dinners, other things all the other days of the cruise, but I'm only gonna gamble on Sunday and win or lose, I'm not going back into that casino. Everyone is always so fast and so quick to say that cruise ship slots are different. They're tighter, the odds are changed. Everybody is so fast to come up with all of these myths when in reality, it's just operating like a normal casino. A normal casino tries to keep you there. Now you have no choice. You're trapped there. That is the element that the casinos use is to keep you there as long as possible. The casinos that are onboard cruise ships have no alterations whatsoever. They are no different from any other casino that you would play at in the state of Nevada. They don't change the odds. They don't have to change the odds. They have you trapped there. They know that they're gonna get their money. You have to have stronger willpower when you are on a cruise ship and most people don't. Listen, here's the truth. It is so much easier for gamblers and people in general to just shift the blame and to blame something else. I lost because they changed the odds on that second day of the cruise. No, you lost because you sat at a slot machine for seven days straight. What did you think was gonna happen? So if you are out there and if you are going on a cruise, you do not have to worry about the casino or the machines being any different or being changed or altered during the middle of your cruise. But you do have to have a lot more firmer of a mindset and a lot stronger of a willpower when you do go in there because of that entrapping nature of being on a boat. Again, slot strategy is not about controlling the machine, but it's about controlling yourself. Be sure to check out the video library for tons of other videos and tips on how you can better your slot play, different reviews of games, and so much more. Be sure to give this video a like, a subscribe would be nice, and I'll see you on the next Thanks one. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.